Hey guys, just play Beautiful Desolation. This is a post-apocalyptic um, adventure RPG game, and uh, just from the title screen, it, it looks pretty cool. I mean, it looks almost like Fallout, right? <laughs> like the old school Fallout 1 and 2 games. Actually, has that kind of vibe to it already. So, anyways, looks pretty cool. Came out in 2020. Um, let's check it out. I <laughs> got an achievement just for starting this game. Oh my god. I mean. <laughs> Who wouldn't get this achievement? The only the only way you wouldn't get this achievement is if you didn't play this game at all. The Brotherhood. Okay. Brotherhood of Steel. Cape Town, South Africa, 1976. Oh. Charlie, this is the last time. I'm not doing this again. Yeah, but I've tried. I've tried so many times. He's your brother, Mark. He's been through so much. Once he's sobered up, we can all talk. Oh, this is cool. So, uh, yeah, this is like, uh, well, it is like an RPG adventure game, right? And it's interesting. Huh. Um. No, we're dropping him off at a shelter on the way back. <sighs> we're not taking your brother to a shelter. He needs to know that we're here for him. He needs our compassion and support. He'll be safer with us. He can stay with us for a while, but we I know it will be hard. I'm just glad he isn't out in this weather. Jeez, this rain is bucketing down. Turn on the rain. What they are calling the storm of the decade. Road closures are in. Stay tuned for a more detailed report. Do you hear something? Like, like, like a low rumble. Mark, there's something in the sky. What the f Ten years later, what happened there? Time skip. Who am I? Who's this guy? Don't get any introduction to who this guy is at all. But I can tell it's like an isometric style, so... Yeah, isometric style, and I can tell it's clearly influenced by like Fallout 1 and 2. Um, as well as maybe Wasteland uh, 2 as... Maybe Wasteland 2 or 3 as well. But that's all done in this isometric style, and it's post-apocalyptic, right? You know, yep. Yeah, the, the whole Don vibe of this just game. leave his stuff lying around. The whole vibe of this game is like the first two Fallout games, which is pretty cool. Yeah, see the interface and everything that all reminds me of Fallout One and Two. All right. Oh, I can't go there. What can I go then? Resting scuttle. Tour pamphlets. That's At it. least they have data boxes here. Uh -uh. Who am I, anyways? No. I can't do anything there. Neon sign. Hello? Don Leslie? Arcade machine. Don loves his arcade games. Well worn couch. Next to the uh, Watch now, later this week. Okay, what happens? Is there a TV here? TV broadcast, Penrose Alliance.
Ten years ago, our country was at war. In the midst of our tribulation, like a gift from heaven, the Penrose appeared. An object of untold technological abundance that advanced civilization on all frontiers. Hunger and disease eradicated, energy mastered, and mortality conquered. Hmm? But there are those who would oppose the might of Penrose allied, dissenters who fear our progress and our power, who would see our world cast back down into turmoil and chaos. There is no place in the world for these heretics, and they will be crushed beneath the heel of the agnate boot as we march towards our great future. Okay, interesting. Challenge for his helicopter. I I hope this thing can fly. So this is like a pit boy, right? Is that the pit boy equivalent in this game? Yeah, it's like the pit boy equivalent in this game. Okay. Oh, I can't go over there. What am I supposed to do now? What can I do? No, I can't go there. So I already did everything here, right? Like everything that can be interacted with, I already did. Outside? No. The heck? Where, where do I go now? I can't go out there. Um, can't go there. Nothing can do here. Can't do anything here. I already watched the TV. What else can I do? Oh, Don's bedroom. Can I go there? Oh no, I guess I can't. Nope, can't do anything there. Lock terminal. I can't unlock this, uh -oh. right? No, I can't lock it. I can't unlock it. What else do I do here? Seriously, I can't go anywhere. And I, I've already interacted with everything. What the heck? Can't do anything for the drill bot? Nope. What do I do? Yeah, this whole interface looks like a Fallout 1 and 2. I mean, when you, uh, yeah, basically when you go into dialogue screen of Fallout 1 and 2, it's kind of like this. The old rusted thing. Um, yeah, that's pretty interesting. But, come on, what else can I do? This is the only thing I can interact with that I've already watched this. Watched, right? Later this week. Okay. What else is there I can do? <laughs> okay, watch this. And there's nowhere else I can go. Seriously, what the heck? What else can I do here? Yeah, so watch that. Nothing I can do here. This is just descriptions. Can't do anything here. Can't do anything here. This is locked, so I can't do anything here. This is the only other interactable thing other than the TV. Ah. No, and I can't do anything there. What the hell? What the heck? There's nowhere else I can do. Nowhere else I can go. OK. 
Okay, DOS access key card. Wait a minute, can I use that to unlock this thing? Yeah, maybe I can use this to unlock the... Uh -uh. Nope, I can't do that. There we go. Read the messages. Okay, so that's what I did. I paged all the pilots. See if they'll come. Ride request was made. Oh, maybe go here. <coughs> there we go. Talk to Don. Marky, been a while. Can I? Uh, I wish you had called to let me know you were coming. I, yeah, yeah, I've been here a while. About two years. You look uh, healthy. But a bit fit, yeah. But it's been, what, nine, ten years? Last time I saw you. The funeral. Yes, yeah. So you're out of the chair, at least. Leg brace. Helps with the pain. It looks good on you, eh? I need... You in some sort of trouble? No, no, nothing like that. You're kidding, right? Not kidding, no. I need to get up there. Why the hell do you need to get up to that thing? You owe me, Don. Can't you just want to borrow some cash or something? That thing is huge. There's something that it's growing around. Human tech. I've got the coordinates, I've got the photos. I just need someone who knows the air. I run tours, little brother. You're a military pilot. Oh shit, man. Okay, fine. If we do this, it has to be tonight. There won't be any chopper patrols in this weather. Once we get up there, we'll only have a few minutes. Be I only need to get a backup of the day. Just tell me one thing. Why the pen? You know, I can't get it back. But I can figure it out. Long way down. There it is, the probe. I knew it. Get these two, two things we've done. 
this time. They said it wasn't man-made. lying to us. Amazing. actually remind me of the old school Infinity Engine style graphics. 
which is cool, right? Like, that's used for Fallout and Planescape and Baldur's Gate and a lot of other games. <coughs> kind of reminds me of that old school isometric games from the uh, late 90s and early 2000s. Hmm, it's a bit cryptic, this game. I'm not sure what to do. It's a bit cryptic what I have to do here. See, I see the arrow pointing ahead, but I don't know if I can do anything with this guy. And there's nothing I can do here anymore. The only thing I can interact with is this, and it requires a passcode, and I don't know what the passcode is. And unlock the backup terminal on the vendors, okay? So what can I do now? I don't have the passcode. Yeah, I don't know what I don't know what to do. I don't have the passcode. I don't know how to get the passcode. I'll have to stop here because I don't know what to do now. <laughs> Seriously, this is the only thing that's interactable on this. And uh, I don't have anything in my inventory that works. This is, this is the only thing I have. And that doesn't work with this. And I don't know how to get the passcode, so I guess I'll just have to save it here. Then. Yeah, anyways, yeah. Interesting game, Beautiful Desolation. I, I like the aesthetics a lot, actually. It really does remind me of the uh, old school, like the first two Fallout games. It really does remind me of that, the aesthetics and everything. Um, but uh, it is a little bit cryptic what to do in this game. <laughs> I mean, they don't make it easy to know, right? It's kind of like a puzzle stuff. Um, so, anyways, I love the aesthetics of the game. Uh, it does remind me of the first two Fallout games and stuff. Just uh, wish it was a little bit less cryptic. Anyways guys, beautiful desolation. Unfortunately, I can't go too far in this game. I can't figure out exactly what to do, but it seems interesting uh, enough. Uh, so definitely, uh, when I have more time, I'll definitely uh, try to figure more of this out. But anyways, it seems like a pretty interesting game. Beautiful desolation. Thanks for watching.